When I was 18, I found myself in an abusive relationship. It was the classical machista relationship in which he tried to control my every move and ended up isolating me from my friends and family who didn't approve of our relationship. At this time, I was starting college, being the first in my big Mexican family to ever do so, and I was very excited to start my journey of becoming a doctor. However, he was weary of me going to college because he was convinced that I would cheat on him or leave him for another guy. Because of this, he later confessed to me that he intentionally tried to get me pregnant. Unfortunately, he succeeded. I should have seen it coming since we never used protection, and the reason for that being that he would tell me that if I wanted to use condoms, it was because I was cheating on him. The toxicity of the relationship took a toll on my mental and physical health, and I was in a dark place in my life. I had dropped out of college. I felt lost. I felt trapped. I didn't feel like myself. I was completely alone, but I knew that I was not ready for a child, so I got an abortion. My ex-boyfriend was not happy with this decision, and he would threaten to tell my family, guilt trip me, and tell me that God would punish me and would not give me kids whenever I wanted them. A year later, I was still in the same toxic relationship. I was doing better, and I was back in college. Unfortunately, I got pregnant again. This time, it was a wake-up call. I couldn't believe that this could be happening again. I came up with the money on my own and went ahead with the abortion despite my ex-boyfriend's threats. I am proud of myself for making those decisions knowing it would be the best for me despite my fears and feeling completely alone. It seems like machismo and patriarchal beliefs are so engraved and programmed into our lives that we start believing these lies and threats and cannot see that they are perhaps coercion to try and control our women autonomy. We cannot let this continue. Since then, I have been blessed by God in many ways. I have found such a supportive community in the Youth Testify program under the National Network of Abortion Funds. With them, I have grown to be bold and apologetic about my decision to have my abortions. I have learned and grown so much with them through their workshops and retreats. I have gotten more involved with events, fighting for women autonomy and choice, and I have found great mentors. I share my story so that other women who find themselves in a position similar to mine know that they are not alone and that they should not feel guilt or ashamed for making the decision that was best for them and their body. At the time of my abortion, I was unaware of organizations such as the National Network of Abortion Funds, but fortunately, they help fund abortions, provide on course information, and provide support every step of the way. I'm currently doing my master's in medical physiology and I am one step closer to medical school. I am in a very happy relationship with a boyfriend that is amazing to me. This would have not been possible had I been forced to carry out my pregnancies. My ex-boyfriend, the state, the church, or anyone else shouldn't be able to decide for me. That decision is all for me to make. Thank you.